Gaijin American is asking, at what point does modernization become cultural genocide? For example, from the 50s through the 70s in Canada, they killed more than 20,000 Inuit sled dogs in an attempt to get the Inuit people to settle into towns. Um, well, I mean, modernization could actually be genocide, genocide as well. Like we have had in under Germany, right? Like that's part of, that was also, okay. So modernization is not like modernity. I mean, depends on what you mean by modernity, right? I mean, communism was part of, moder you know, modernity. Okay. Um, we're not, we don't endorse all, everything that happened um, due to modernity. We just noticed that mo a lot of the things that happened because in through modernization were beneficial, right? And we just want to, uh, you know, we just want to defend those, right? Like, and we, okay, so for people who are against modernization for the sake of being moder against modernization for the sake of conserving things against that attitude we defend modernization not that everything that happened through modernity has been good or has a net positive effect we don't claim that right but if your entire but the average effect of modernization has been beneficial to the world right like extremely to the side of beneficial um, if you notice what, it be, what has been the level, of, the lifestyle, the level of security, the level of prosperity that we have had in the past hundred years, even with the bo both of the world wars, right? And even with the Cold War and even with the, all the wars that you add in the past hundred years, the past 100 years, including with the, while you include the world wars, has been the most peaceful time in the history of mankind. It's um, unbelievable. With all the death and destruction from World War One and World War Two, still the past hundred years has been the most peaceful in the history of humankind. Modernity has been really good to us, right? Uh, on average, right? So we, but we're not going to be dogmatically be like, oh, this is part of modernization, so it's good. No, no, no. But we defend modernity against the people who are just in the on the side of conserving things, on the side of conser conservatives, who are just not for progress they just want to be against modernity just because they're against change as a as a as a, as a concept okay so yeah so yeah so uh, to your answer uh, modernization could be cultural genocide but it could also and has been actual genocide genocide not just even cultural genocide it has been also genocide genocide right so yeah so we pick and choose but based on what it'd be like for modernization I think Mario had a response to this on the Patreon page, where actually now patrons are interacting with each other's questions, which is very interesting to see. Nice. Saying nice. forced modernization is not something I support. Freedom-oriented people I support. Basically saying modernization paired with liberalism, meaning enlightenment values, is the best pairing. What do you think about that? Yeah, well, basically what, I, what, what, what he's saying is that we can pick and choose so modernization is basically changing and things becoming, you know, modern, going going from how things used to be done and going and doing it in a new way. But um, not just because something is a new way doesn't mean it's better, right? Um, but we have to be open to change, though, because for things to get better, things need to change. But just because something changes, that doesn't mean it has improved. Right. So we have to be open to change, but not endorse every change. So what Mario is saying is what I said, like we are we are open. We are very welcoming to the concept of change and improving, but we're not going to endorse every form of change. And he is also like now selecting. He's being selective about what kind of changes he's endorsing. So that's what I agree with. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, American is saying time. communist China banned foot binding, for example. So some people would maybe say that this is a form of cultural genocide because this was something that was part of the Chinese culture and it's been banned. And I think this is a really good point in that oh, yeah. um, some traditions actually, you could argue that it is a form of cultural genocide, but they actually should be left behind. <laughs> yeah, and I don't. They should be left behind. Foot binding, or I remember in I can't remember. Maybe it was in Angola. I can't quite remember. But there was um, a tradition in an African country that the Belgians colonized, and obviously the Belgians were brutal colonizers. So let me not 
like whitewash anything. But they banned this one practice of you weave a basket onto a baby's head and it looks like the most painful process. It's like these babies are screaming in pain because they're trying to get their head to be like more kind of pointy or like a certain kind of shape. And you watch the videos of this, you know, in black and white, this black and white footage. And you're like, you know what? I don't support a lot of what the Belgians did, but this seems like a good thing that this was uh, discouraged. <laughs> um, right. But I, I don't think that's American is the Congo. Thank you. Okay. Um, I don't what think do you that think? is called. I've, I've, I completely agree that some cultures just need to go. Okay. There are certain practices within cultures that just need to end. Okay. However, I don't think those, if you look at what culture, okay, so the definition of cultural genocide is, I'm looking up right now, is the systematic destruction of tradition, values, language, and other elements that make one group of people distinct, distinct from another, right? So mm -hmm. I think, like, if you go and say, like, oh, this culture is bad, this specific practice is bad, we're going we're gonna to say no to that. I don't think that's cultural genocide. I think cultural genocide is when, yeah. you, affect, when you try to completely erase a, a, the identity of an entire group of people. I think that's the definition of cultural genocide. I agree. And the, the, yeah. the language component is one of the most important components of cultural genocide. One of the, right. it's really a central aspect of cultural genocide. I completely agree. also if I by the way, I don't have any problem with the culture, an entire culture of people disappearing if it happens organically. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I don't think cultures are certain thing that um we need to preserve because if it if it goes away organically, that means people are just uh, organically finding different ways to do things and they're free to do free to do that. Like I think cultural genocide is like when when your identity of a group of people is trying to be systematically being for, or removed that means that it's not it's not just being erased because of the free will of the people who are choosing to do mm -hmm. things differently I, yeah, so I if agree. i'm against if i'm against if i'm against cultural genocide it's not because i'm saying like oh cultures need to be preserved like i don't have i don't see any value in forcefully preserving cultures like if a culture just er gets erased organically that's completely fine i just i'm against a top-down approach of a government or any other group of people telling yeah people how i mean do. various yeah. cultures have just disappeared throughout history thousands and thousands of times like exactly it's not inherently yeah a bad thing they might happen for various bad complicated reasons like assimilation and survivability and all these things but that's part of human history exactly. um but yes we're against yeah systematic erasure 100 percent Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.